Hello, it's time for another list, but before we get going, we'd like to thank Prime Matter and PlayOn for sponsoring this video alongside their release of the System Shock remake. You can check the link in the description below for more information on System Shock, and of course, looking at the title of this video, you can sit and listen to the next 10 entries for the things that we think you really need to know. For years and years, fans of the System Shock series have been clamouring for a new entry into the franchise. Their hunger for a new title was partially satiated in 2015 with the release of the System Shock Enhanced Edition, which boasted a variety of improvements to the original game, but fans still wanted more. Luckily, that very same year, developer Night Dive Studios announced their intention to do a remake of System Shock, and since then the gaming world has been waiting with bated breath for its release. Well, you can all breathe a sigh of relief now, as the System Shock remake has finally arrived, and we're here today to tell you all about it and clue you in on everything you need to know before you get started. I'm Peter from Triple Jump, and here are 10 things you need to know about the System Shock remake. Number 10. What is System Shock, and why is it getting a remake? If you've clicked on this video, and if you're hearing these words then I'm assuming that you have, then you might well be fully aware of the System Shock series already. But for those of you who clicked because you don't know anything about System Shock and would like to find out more, let me clear things up. The original System Shock was released all the way back in 1994 and placed players into the shoes of a nameless hacker who found themselves aboard a space station facing off against a malevolent AI. The game was a hit, and a sequel, System Shock 2, followed in 1999. Both System Shock and System Shock 2 are often cited amongst the best games of all time, but since the original is getting on for 30 years old at this point, it is starting to show some signs of age. Look Luckily, the good people over at Night Dive Studios have been hard at work for the past few years, giving the game a much needed update. Players can expect modernised graphics, updated controls, a shiny new UI, and in-depth difficulty options that will allow players to tweak the challenge of various different aspects of the game separately. It's not all change, though, as the key components that made System Shock great, such as the characters, setting, and story, have all been left well alone. Which brings us to number 9. What's the story about? As one might expect, the System Shock remake's story sticks faithfully to that of the original 1994 title, and sees players transported almost half a century into the future. Players take on the role of that nameless hacker who travels to Citadel Station after being caught doing what he does best, i.e. hacking into the station and accessing its files. Naughty naughty. Rather than being hauled off to prison though, the hacker is given an offer he can't refuse. Hack into the station's AI and all charges will be dropped, plus, as a bonus, he'll receive a sweet military grade implant. Sounds like a good deal, right? Well, there wouldn't be much of a game if things went totally smoothly, and after having his implant fitted, the hacker goes into a six month coma, awakening to find that the AI, Shodan, has gone rogue and all of the station's crew members are dead, mutated, or converted into cyborgs. As such, it falls to the hacker to put a stop to Shodan, as well as the various nasties that she's created, and preferably before she's able to expand her influence beyond the space station. No pressure, but you know, if not contained, she'll probably destroy the Earth. Mm. Number 8. What can I expect from the gameplay? The System Shock remake is an action-adventure first-person shooter with RPG elements, so players can expect aspects of all three of the aforementioned genres to make their way to the game. Since the story is non-linear, players have the freedom to progress in whatever way they wish, and as they explore the game world, they'll pick up data disks and emails that give context to everything that's going on around them. Not only is there a whole space station to explore, which we'll get to in a moment, but players will also get to enter cyberspace whenever Shodan blocks their progress, and they must clear a path in order to proceed. Looking to mould the game to how you like to play? Well, dermal patches allow players to augment the hacker in a variety of ways, though nothing in the world of System Shock comes without a price, and the patches have both an upside and a downside. 
for example, the Berserk Combat Booster increases melee damage but detrimentally affects colour perception, whilst the Genius Mind Enhancer makes puzzles easier to solve but switches your left and right controls. In short, whether it's combat, exploration, or puzzles that float your boat, the System Shock remake will have something just for you. Number 7. Where's the System Shock remake set? More on that game world I mentioned now. As we said in earlier entries, the System Shock remake takes place in the future, 2072 to be exact, by which point things have taken a turn for the cybernetic. All of the action takes place aboard the Citadel Station, a space station that orbits Saturn and is owned by the Tri-Optimum Mega Corporation. Being so far from Earth, the Citadel Station is like a self-contained city, and features everything from research labs and flight decks to medical facilities and living quarters, so naturally there's a lot for players to explore, though with Showdown in charge, the place isn't exactly in the best shape. Whilst fans of the first game will undoubtedly recognise much of the Citadel Station, it's worth noting that the devs have taken the opportunity to make some changes in order to make traversing the station a bit less of a headache. Many areas have been opened up and the unnecessary mazes in which players might get lost have been removed. It might not be identical to the original, but it's arguably better, and either way, it's still a horrifyingly oppressive environment in the absolute best way possible. Number 6. Tell me more about this nameless protagonist. Ok, you got it. Or perhaps you don't got it, because to tell you the truth, not much is known about the hacker prior to his involvement in the events of System Shock. We know he lived in the city of New Atlanta, and that it was his attempts to hack into the Citadel Station that landed him in this hot mess, though why exactly it was that he did this is unclear. What we do know though is that the hacker's actions led him to Edward Diego, a Tri-Optimum executive who offered to drop all charges if they were willing to hack Citadel Station's AI, removing its ethical constraints in the process. To sweeten the deal, Edward also throws in a military-grade cyberjack implant which is surgically integrated into the hacker's central nervous system. When he's not spending his days rifling through data that he shouldn't be though, our pal the hacker loves nothing more than to kick back with a slice of pizza and a few video games, including the original System Shock it would seem, or his favourite comic, Watchmen. You know, if it weren't for all the illegal stuff, he'd be a pretty cool dude. Number 5. Who's the Big Bad? Buckle up, boys, girls, and others, because you're in for a real treat with the System Shock remake's main antagonist, who has on numerous occasions been cited amongst the greatest video game villains of all time. Shodan, or Sentient Hyper Optimized Data Access Network if you want to get serious about this, is the AI aboard the Citadel Station. Created by the aforementioned Tri-Optimum Mega Corporation, she was originally programmed to carry out routine duties aboard the station, and to challenge the executive's decisions should they impact her day-to-day -day functionality. With her ethical constraints removed, however, she goes rogue, writes a program that prevents humans from intervening, seizes control of the station's systems, robots, and defenses, murders many of the staff, and turns the rest of them into mutants or cyborgs. Practically omnipresent thanks to her command of the station and its network of security cameras, Shodan poses a constant threat to the hacker, and although she lacks a physical form and as such has no power of her own, her control over the station's cyborgs and mutants makes her one fearsome adversary. Put simply, she's got no morals, a small army at her command, and she's basically everywhere all of the time. Terrifying stuff. Number 4. Besides Shodan, what enemies will I face? As we've mentioned, Shodan has seized control of all the robots of Citadel Station and transformed many of its inhabitants into mutants or cyborgs, but what does that mean for the hacker, and by extension you as the player? Well let's start with the robots, shall we? From the Roomba-like autobombs that zip around at high speed before exploding in your face to the shock bots that patrol the bridge, there are plenty of mechanical adversaries to keep you occupied. The cyborgs also come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. You've got the cyborg assassins that skulk around in the shadows with their silent rifles and shurikens, the cyborg drones that wander the earlier levels of the game armed with a mini pistol or spark beam, and the 
cyborg elite guard, who act as Shodan's personal protectors and are some of the toughest enemies the System Shock remake has to offer, plus a whole bunch more that we simply don't have time to list. Finally, there are the mutants, and it seemingly doesn't matter if it's human, bird, or office pot plant, Shodan has mutated it. She really has been busy, hasn't she? Number 3. What's the combat like? Speaking of enemies, you're probably wondering what the System Shock remake has on offer for those of you who prefer to settle things with violence. Well, the good news is that the seemingly never-ending parade of robots, cyborgs, and mutants can all be sent to the afterlife, same-day delivery, with a variety of different weapons. If you're the gun-toting type, then you get to choose from one of six different standard firearms and a further four energy weapons. Those of you who prefer your guns realistic can pick from a pistol, magnum, machine gun, assault rifle, shotgun, or even a rail gun, whilst sci-fi fanatics can get their hands on the spark beam, an ion rifle, a plasma rifle, and the mag pulse. But perhaps you prefer to beat your adversaries into submission. Well, do not fret, as you'll get the choice of a lead pipe, a monkey wrench, or the laser rapier, which is somewhat akin to a lightsaber, but I'm sure legally different. Don't worry, I'm sure it's all fine. Finally, for those times when there are just too many darned enemies, you'll be needing grenades, which come in the frag, EMP, gas, proximity, and smoke varieties. Honestly, you are spoiled for choice. Number 2. I like the sound of this System Shock remake, but I also want more. What else is coming up in the world of System Shock? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you're so in love with the idea of System Shock and want to be absorbing it even when you're not gaming, you'll be pleased to know there's also a TV series based on the franchise currently in development. It's set to be written, directed, and produced by Greg Russo, whose name you might recognize as he co-wrote the screenplay for the 2021 Mortal Kombat movie. But alright, what about back in the world of games? Well, Night Dive Studios are also currently working on System Shock 2 Enhanced Edition, which will see the sequel getting a whole new lease on life with fresh cinematics, textures, and character and weapon models. There's no word yet on when that one's due to be released, but at least you have the System Shock remake to help keep you occupied in the meantime. Which brings us to number one. Well, this all sounds great. When and how can I get my hands on a copy? Well, I've got especially good news for PC gamers because the System Shock remake is out right now. You can pick up a copy from Steam, Epic Games, and GOG.com for the low low price of just $34.99 in Great British Pounds, which is roughly half the price of your average AAA title. And let's not forget, we're talking about a remake of one of the greatest games of all time here. Bargain. If you're not part of the so-called PC master race, though, then there's no need to either worry or sell a kidney so you can afford a fancy gaming rig, because the System Shock remake is also coming to consoles. Versions of the game for Xbox One and Series and PS4 and 5, as well as Mac and Linux, are currently in development, though at the time of writing there's no official word on exactly when these will be released. Best bet might be to follow at System Shock Game on Twitter, as well as Night Dive Studios on all the socials for the latest updates. We'd hate for you to miss out, console gamers.